Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. We've got uh, a new a new brewery coming into the area, not new at all, but it's Founders. That's right. Founders Brewing is now being distributed in Oregon, which is wonderful. And I've not tried this. I've tried so many of their beers, many of them while traveling. This is the Azaka IPA. That's right. It's made with the Azaka hops, uh, previously known by some of us who brew as ADHA. 483, that's right. And you know, this, this brings a lot of citrus and tropical flavors in, is what it's supposed to do. I, I love the sound of that. Even supposed to bring in some peach sometimes. Uh, all those flavors, you know, I just love that. Uh, interesting thing though is that Azaka is also the name of the uh, Haitian god for agriculture and farming. He's supposed to be kind of a hick, goes around barefoot, wears a straw hat, wears dungarees. You know, a lot of other things. Got a pipe in his mouth, exaggerated country drawl. Kind of reminds me of a few of my buddies in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is an American IPA at 7% ABV and 70 IBUs. We're going to get this one going. All right, here we go. Hey, it's fairly clear. You know, there might be just the lightest haze on there, chill haze. But look at that. It's uh, interesting colors, though, on this. I mean, you've got a full, almost two-finger head. Uh, just off white, you know, very pillowy, and uh, but the color on this goes someplace between a honey and with a touch of like ruby on there. So yeah, that's kind of unique. Now remember, this is probably made with just Azaka hops, no other hops. So that even even means the bittering is going to be done by Azaka. Let's get the nose. All right, it's still cold, which it should be as an IPA. So you're not going to get quite that much yet, but I can tell you right off the top, I got some citrus on there, and I swear I did get a hint of some peach. There it is. There's a little bit of stone fruit on there. There's some orange. There's a little bit of like some orange rind, maybe a hint of lemon on there, and even grapefruit. And it has like a, a nice uh, light caramel tone to it as well, almost a, a honey caramel. It's not just jumping off there and just smacking in the face. There might be a hint of, uh, of some tropical, but it's not really very succinct at this point. It's not pulling out any particular tropical note. But the orange, the orange is more predominant, followed by that grapefruit and the lemon and just that hint of the peach on there. Uh, maybe just a little bit of floralness and kind of an earthy note, really. I might be getting just a hint of a resin, too. So we're going to jump in. Cheers. Oh, that's different. You know, anytime you're just doing a single hop, it's different. Uh, and, and what's so different? You, you, the sweetness is nice enough, but the bitterness coming in is, is kind of odd. Uh, odd in the sense that, you know, we, we really have certain hops that we generally use for bittering beers. Um, and a lot of times when you're using hops that are more predominantly for for the late part of the boil and, and during the whirlpool to bring in the, the nose and the fruity type aspects. When you use them at the beginning uh, of the boil for the bitterness, it just makes it a little bit different. And this definitely is. It almost comes across the bitterness as a green type flavor, you know, maybe a, uh, like a vegetable type green kind of flavors and some earthy notes. For me personally, the the bittering on it uh, because of its unique flavors uh, is almost a little bit too high quite frankly it makes me wonder how fresh this is too because there's just a lot of herbal quality to it all right so I did find a date on the bottom it's uh, you know these just came out to Oregon but nonetheless you'd think they'd send us some fresh stuff right this was uh, brewed November 20 21st it was canned of last year and today is now February 13th of 2017 so we've got one two just about almost three months on it now not too far out but it's already taken on quite an herbal type characteristic February 13th what does that mean yeah. happy birthday to you happy birthday to you so I've been distracted and I need to take some time <laughs> So the bitterness is a bit high, I think. Um, part of that bitterness, though, is coming across as like a grapefruit rind, which actually, for me, is on the pleasing end, at least. 
and that I do appreciate. But I think the bitterness is a little too high for the low amount of uh, sweetness in the beer. It's actually 7%, so you would almost expect it to be a little higher in sweetness, uh, uh, you know, a little more substance to it in terms of those flavors and sweet qualities. And I'll say there's no resin in it. Uh, I think, at least I don't think there is, you know, it, that grapefruit, uh, the grapefruit type character being kind of on the bitter end almost came off as a resin. The orange isn't particularly brilliant or bright. Uh, the lemon is really not there in the flavor. There might be just the slightest hint of stone fruit, but again, uh, if it's there, it's it's kind of been overpowered by the bitterness. Uh, it's, it's actually very refreshing though. It is kind of very unique. I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna take a little time with this and I'll be back with some numbers. Well, my wife's not gonna let me forget it. It's my birthday. So what the heck, happy birthday to me. I'm an old man. All right, now I have my walker next to me. It's all safe. They've got a wheelchair in the other room. We're good to go. <laughs> um, the beer's growing on me, you know. Actually, it's a really tasty beer. And I think that I could really enjoy this beer if they made this again, just using something else to bitter it. <laughs> but in terms of American IPA, I can't give it a super high score. There are many beers that are much better than this. I'm gonna give it an 86. I mean, the front side of this has some just beautiful qualities. It's just on the back side with bitterness. In terms of overall though, it's unique. You know I like unique. I'm gonna go all the way up to an 87. <laughs> One thing that I definitely appreciate about East Coast beers and Midwest beers is the lower price tag. That's right, it's a buck 60. You know, Oregon's gotten quite expensive and there are so many things out there we all know that are 16 bucks for a four pack. Give me a break. Uh, this, is, this is a reasonable price for a reasonably good beer. I appreciate that. Here it is again. It is a Zaka IPA by Founders Brewing. Looking forward to reviewing more of their beers in the coming days. This is Kevin at Clements Homebrew saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you in the next beer review. Don't let this price tag fool you.